less fucked up. All these guys nowadays prancing around together like ladies. Bro, you gotta watch what you're saying. It's 2017. And what's so wrong with prancing around like ladies? I am a fine example of womanhood. It would be a privilege for the two of y'all to be like me. Oh my God, you're everywhere. Somebody's gotta look after our boy. Hey, Brittany's boy. Besides, we're doing just fine without any of your help. Are you sure about that? <sighs> He's been acting so strange. Maybe you should sit down and have a conversation with your son. Maybe you need to find somebody else. You know, that boy needs a mom. Mm -hmm. And who's to say I don't have other women? <laughs> I got plenty of women. Mm -hmm. well, he doesn't talk to me. The only person that he relates to nowadays is Daryl. He's been teaching him to play that damn instrument. Hey, babe, can you pass the remote? Hey, what the hell's going on with you tonight? Nothing. I got a lot of shit on my mind. It's just, you know, I saw Antonio the other day, and we were working on his violin, and Edwin just doesn't get it, Vinny. Antonio is not going to be the man that he wants him to be. And God, it's so fucking obvious. He doesn't have a prayer that he'll be able to speak to him about it. I remember going through that when I was a kid. That's rough. It's great that he has you to talk to. Yeah, we've had some good conversations, like you and I used to. What's that supposed to mean, babe? <sighs> Baby, you know I love you, but it seems like we've been going through some rough times right now, and we're kind of stuck. It's like we've gotten too comfortable, too settled. Wait, you got it? You got the job? I got it. Assistant prop master in a feature film oh, set. Oh my God. The sunny city of Orlando. Oh my gosh. You're on your way. <laughs> Bro, you're never gonna let no. me forget that. Of course not. Why would I? Hey, mijo, ¿qué pasa? Hey, papi. Hey, tío. See? Weird. You say he relates to Daryl. Maybe you should give him a call and see how he's acting in class. Mm -hmm. Daryl seems to have fostered Antonio's love for the violin. I, I heard him playing the other day. He's, he's improving. Okay, I, I understand Daryl's a good guy, but oh, this homosexual stuff, man, it just gets under my skin. Edwin, that's, that's his life. Hey, mijo, how's your day? It's fine. Oh, come on, tell your Uncle Luis and I what's popping. Any new girls? God, it drives me crazy when he's like that. Edwin, he's a teenager. They're strange, secretive, moody. It's how they are. It'll pass. I don't know, bro. Every time he acts like that, it just it makes me wonder why I didn't have Brittany have that abortion. Edwin, come on. Are you crazy? <laughs> I was 18 years old. My whole life ahead of me. I love you. I love you too, baby. I love you. <laughs> I love you. Mm -hmm. Baby, I can't wait. We're gonna finish school. Mm -hmm. Leave New York. And then we're gonna uh, <laughs> start our lives. Britt, you all right? You okay? Okay. Can you just just hang out with me? I'll just quit your job. I, it doesn't I, even matter. I wish I could, but you know I gotta make this money. Oh, Hang out with me. Mm, I love oh my you. Gosh. <laughs> what? I love you too. I love you <laughs> very much. Bye. Bye. Hello, hey. young lovers. How are you. you? Hey, girl. How are you? So where have you been? We were supposed to go buy dresses together for the dance. You know he wants you to look fly. <sighs> girl, I got so many emotions going on right now. <laughs> oh, were those those like pregnancy mood swings I've been hearing about? Liberty. What? 
I know I'm doing the right thing, but I'm scared. Edwin says we can handle it. I don't think he actually feels that way. My mom is freaking out about my heart, and she doesn't even want me to have this baby. And you want to go to some damn dance where I don't even know if I'll be able to fit into the dress when I get there. Brittany, you got to calm down, girl. Like, he's a good guy. The two of you will be fine. And, you know, I see the way he looks at you, and he's going to support that baby just as much as he loves you, okay? And when it comes to the dress, we could size up, okay? We, we could figure it out. <laughs> don't worry, okay? I got your back. I'll always be your friend. Till death do us part. <laughs> Hey, baby. It's time. It's time. For what? The baby. I'm having the baby. <laughs> oh, that's nice. The baby. I'm having the baby. Oh, my God. Oh, I'll be right there. You killed my daughter. My baby is dead. What, what are you talking about? What, where's Brittany? Where is she? You did this. The blood is on your hands. I told you, kids, that Brittany's her cannot survive giving birth. I told you. We did everything we could, but Brittany lost a lot of blood. I don't understand. Uh, she was fine. She was fine. I just talked to her. But despite our best efforts, we could not save her. I will give you some privacy. You got your baby, now where is mine? I don't want any part of you or your fucking bastard son! Excuse me, Mr. Morales? We need to know what name you want to put on the birth certificate. Mr. Morales? Antonio Ricardo. After my father. You have a beautiful baby. voice down, Antonio's gonna hear you. No, he doesn't listen to anything I have to say. You check this out. Hey, mijo, you alive? See? Nothing. You 
stormed out. You all right? Yeah, Poppy. I'm good. Mijo, I know that look. You forget I'm your father. Apparently you didn't want to be my father. Hey, watch your mouth. Don't forget who the fuck you're talking to. I heard you and Uncle Lewis. Antonio, you just don't understand. Okay, so make me understand. Look, I've always loved you. Okay, I would do anything for you, anything in the world for you. It's just back then, we were just kids. We were in way over our heads. Okay, so you shouldn't have had sex. You know what, you're right, but ever since then, I've sacrificed everything. Even things that I'm not proud of. Okay. Okay, puppy. I'm gonna go to Daryl's. I'll be back. Okay, but hey, just be careful hanging out with Daryl so much. You know how I feel about all this gay stuff. I know. All of them offers to pitch in. Whatever I can do. Some kind of fundraiser. Any way we can help. And with that, the man who started serving all those kids on his own was alone no more. We want to make sure that you rebuild that restaurant so you can continue to serve all these children. Breaking news. A shooting in Orlando. Ultimas noticias. Balacera in Orlando. Three hours of terror overnight, multiple shootouts, hostages, a packed nightclub under siege. Authorities say Omar Mateen arrived at Pulse Orlando, a gay nightclub and bar, armed with an AR-15 type assault rifle, a handgun, and an unknown number of rounds of ammunition. It appears he was organized and well prepared. By the time it was all over, at least 50 people dead, even more injured tonight. The first signs of trouble just after 2 a.m., officers responding... Hey guys, come on in. Hey. How you doing? I'm fine. <clears throat> um, you guys want something to drink? No, I'm, I'm good. Yeah, sure. No, I'll get it. You know, I appreciate you guys coming by. So you're not gonna get that? I don't know, man. It's uh, it's tough raising a teenager. Besides, I just want it to be about us right now. I just want to hang out with my homeboys. Yeah, man. Y you're gonna want to take care of that with your kid. Hey, don't be trying to tell me how to raise my son. <laughs> you know, Edwin. I hear what you're saying, man. But Antonio has a lot that he wants to talk to you about. Yeah, you never know what's gonna happen. I mean, life is so short. Sorry. You know, guys, I still haven't been able to listen to the voicemails. We're here with you, man.
Hey, mijo, come out here for a second. I want to talk to you. To show you something. Good looking guy. <laughs> yeah, his name is Will. <laughs> 